Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. When we wake up, most of us will use water to brush our teeth. We will use water to make our tea, use water to have a shower, and not realize the favor of Allah upon us. Today, I want you to meet the 12 year old Abu who is standing next to me. Abu walks half a mile from his hometown to the nearest well. That's like walking from Quwatul Islam Madrasa to Preston North End. He doesn't turn the tap on. He lowers a bucket 25 feet into the ground and then pulls almost 20 litres of water. Allah has blessed us with access to safe quality drinking water every time we turn the tap on. For Abu and his family, it's not guaranteed that after walking half a mile, if he is going to be clean and safe to drink. We, at the end, ask Abu a question. What do we say after drinking water? He replies by saying, Alhamdulillah. Do we say Alhamdulillah? Do we thank Allah for the blessing He has given us in our own homes, in our bathrooms, in our kitchen, and almost every public place we visit? Remember the 12 year old Abu and say Alhamdulillah for the blessing of Allah. 73% of the residents of Sierra Leone don't have food security despite the land being suitable for cultivation. Today after Jumu'ah, hundreds of people waited for up to three hours in the scorching heat to collect 12 and a half kg of rice worth seven pounds. We spend more money on takeaway. As many of us will be looking forward to eating takeaway over the weekend, Mama and his family will also enjoy a meal because of your contributions. The most excellent sadaqah consists of satisfying a hungry person. May Allah accept the contribution of our children and community members. Amin. This is Sierra Leone's rubbish dump. The smell hits you long before you even see it. Rotting food, animal feces and sweat. Fire spitting out thick black poisonous smoke, intensifying the already unbearable heat. Children, children can be found picking plastic, which they can then sell on. If they are lucky, they make a pound a day. They have to spend all day on the dump. They can't attend school and are trapped in a cycle of poverty. This is no place for children. But if they don't work, there will be nothing to eat tonight. Despite its dangers, it's a lifeline. As Allah blesses our children to enjoy the comfort and warmth of our homes over the weekend, playing console games and more, we distribute your wealth and remind ourselves of the prophetic dua of when seeing someone in distress. Alhamdulillah alladhi aafani mimma batalaka bihi wa faddolani ala kathirin mimman khalaka tafudila. As we see and witness the atrocities around the world, let us remind ourselves of this dua. Amin Ya Rabbal Alameen. Today was a beautiful day here in Sierra Leone. We spent most of our time at the orphanage. Orphans as young as four playing joyfully, washing clothes, chilling in their bedrooms. Mother, also known as Na, has been looking after thousands of orphans for the past 35 years, taking care of all their needs. She says, the orphans are more dearer to her than her own children. We present some of your donated gifts to her for the orphanage and tell her our children have raised money so we can host a dawat. Kentucky Fried Chicken, Rice, Milkshake, Popcorn, Crisp, Fizzy Drink and Big Smiles was on the menu. Looking at the joy of her children, the one who will be close to the Prophet on the day of judgment, she makes dua for our children. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma, al wujud mulkuka, wal qadar hukumuka, wal qalb hazain muhabbatka. Ya awlai walidehi, mara ayahum, wa anir layalahum, bima allamuhum, wa jaluhum, barina. كل المسلمين بارينا كل المسلمين بارينا كل المسلمين love for your brother what you love for yourself just as we enjoy the facilities of our masjid and madrasa our children decided 
to invest the money, time and effort to build a masjid and an education center here in Sierra Leone, West Africa. This vision, this dream has become a reality with the grace of Allah. Just like our madrasa, the center is over three floors. Corridors as vibrant as ours because we love for others what we love for ourselves. Children learning English, maths, science and Islamic studies. The building is self-managed with solar panels generating electricity, 150 feet deep water well with pumps to supply water not only to the masjid and the center but also to the wider community. The masjid accommodates five daily prayers complete with Jumu'ah and Taraweeh Salah. An investment by our children for our children. May Allah bless our children with a palace in Jannah and make this investment, make this sadaqah a means of everlasting reward. Ameen Ya Rabbal Alameen.